the sonic cloud excursion report is the definitive temperature monitoring re report. This report can be accessed from your dashboard by clicking the reports module. Once we go to the reports page, we can choose excursion report. And from there, we can see our options for our twice daily temperature monitoring, as well as any other persistent settings we would like to include in the report as well. This report can be set to be automatically sent to specific users by going down into the users to send automatically field and selecting the users that you would like to receive the report. If you would like to run an on-demand report, you can simply set your log times for what you would like them to be recorded on the report, include any persistent settings, and then choose your automatic sending interval. You can choose daily, weekly, semi-monthly, or monthly. If weekly is chosen, you can choose what day of the week you want the report to start. If semi-monthly is chosen, you can choose if you want to run a report for the first half of the month or the second half of the month. Once you have the settings selected, you can choose the points you would like to run a report for. You can search and scroll down to select the points you want, or you can simply type the names of the points. From there, you can select any points you want to re include in the report. Once you click Run Report, the report will come to you in an email. The base version of this, of this report, with all persistent settings turned off, will look like this. It will show you the date range for the report that was ran, who requested the report and when they requested it. It will include the area where the point is included, the name of the point, the probe serial number, and how that point is being measured. Under the data summary, we will see your log time one and log time two. This is your twice daily reading. Your twice daily readings are included in the graph. We can see this is not a calendar. A calendar is actually listed down here, so you can find your days. For example, on this calendar, if we wanted to find January 21st, we would go down to our January 20th column and look for the third and fourth check-in in this column. Every column will be two days and include 1 a.m. and 1 p.m. check-in for the first day and 1 a.m. and p.m. check-in for the second day. You can also see where your points are running in relation to how your alarms are set. For the point in question on this report, we can see our alarm profile is set between 60 to 67 degrees and our temperatures are running above that for the entire month. Included on page two and on this report page three, due to the number of alarms, we have every alarm that happened on this page. Also included are users that took any action on that alarm, any comments that were left, any actions they took, and when they took that action. To include other settings, simply select those settings and then run your report. Those settings will not be graphed. However, they are listed under the data summary. So we can see here on the first day of this month, we can now see the daily maximum reading, the daily minimum reading, the mean kinetic temperature, and how many minutes the point was out of range. These data points are not graphed, but the information is available listed here under the data summary. The last version of this report to see is if we include all data. We must be careful when choosing to include all data because we can make the report too big to be received in an email. As we can see for this point, we have the same settings turned on as the last version we just saw. The same alarm information, but starting on page four, I have every single check-in that happened. I have the date and timestamp for that check-in. I have the reading in Fahrenheit and Celsius, and I have the status. These check-ins are highlighted in red because they were out of range. If we have check-ins that are in caution, they will be highlighted yellow. Any check-ins that are in range will not be highlighted. Where you must be careful with running this report, as we can see, this is a, point, a report for one point for a month, and that report is 70 pages long. If you are trying to run a report with too many points selected and trying to include all data, 
the report will be, get very big, very fast, and an email client will not be able to download that as a report. If you have any further questions, please reach out to Sonic U for assistance.